Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Random Pets Genetics Challenge! Woo! Here in our laboratory, where we are going to be mixing and matching different animal genes to have some very unexpected offspring as our experimental results today. And we are carrying on with our Arctic theme, with hanging out with animals who really enjoy the cold and the snow, since we have been hanging out so much in Red Lantern and Snowy Escapes lately, enjoying those adventures. And we have with us today another glorious sled dog! Another glorious sled dog named Too Spooky. Yes, Too Spooky indeed. The Siberian Husky. And I burst out laughing when I actually had that name be pulled up by the random generator because too spooky, immediately I had a flash of inspiration about what your owner, your musher, actually does and why you are named too spooky. I think that the musher of this husky is actually someone who's completely obsessed with memes and loves memes and names their dogs after a whole bunch of different memes. And if you were going to name a dog after a meme, which meme would you pick? I need to ask my husband Chips this because he is definitely like a meme expert. He constantly tries to educate me in the usage of memes. And unfortunately, I, I don't seem to have the head for it. I, I, I am very much oblivious. Memes fly right over my head and I just have no idea like what, what they happen to mean. However, I do think that it'd be really cute to have a whole bunch of puppies on this sled team named after memes. And then that begs the question, what would the team be called? If you were going to name a sled dog team that you wanted to cheer on in the races after a meme, what would you name that team? I cannot wait to see your guys' answers in the comment sections. And as usual, if you guys happen to leave comments on these videos, that gives you a chance to become one of our laboratory experiment animals. So definitely do that, because the random comment generator might pick you. And definitely leave your meme sled dog names in the comments, because I could definitely use a good laugh. So all right, guys, we have Too Spooky, who has now set himself, or herself, pardon me, or no, himself, that's right himself free from having any dog sled races. I imagine that they just won the race and everyone's celebrating and so he's got a little time to himself and decides to go on a jog around the small little town that they have in the remote Alaskan wilderness. And while he is out there, he actually stumbles upon Snowball! Snowball the polar bear! Look at this polar bear! Another amazing creation, a more recent one actually, by Kalino! So Kalino created this polar bear and I have to say I am totally in love with it. I cannot wait to see how fluffy the puppies are going to be! Think about taking a Siberian Husky who's already kind of fluffy and a polar bear and having those genes get mixed together. We're gonna have huge fluff and probably huge appetites on these little bear pup cubs. So I'm pretty excited for that. And I think in this case, it's just a happy circumstance. Snowball, she's a pretty cheerful sort, actually. She really enjoys rolling around, occasionally making big snowballs out of the snow. She really likes playing in it. And uh, she's pretty laid back as far as polar bears go. Very curious as well. And her own wanderings have taken her somewhat close to town, but not too close. And she happens to bump into Too Spooky. They are both very like active, energetic, and uh, somewhat adventurous little animals. And well, I guess they're not so little. I mean, this is a freaking polar bear. And eventually, as these laboratory stories go, through one circumstance or another, they end up really getting along great. And the sun is shining in the sky, as it tends to do in Alaska for multiple hours a day, depending on the time of year. And eventually these two really bond and end up having a little litter of their own. I think this litter would be less based on love and more based on like playfulness and just curiosity, to be honest. A sharing of each other's very active lifestyles and hopes that maybe any of their offspring might come to join the pack or whatever you would call a herd of bears. A bear herd? What would you call a group of bears? Usually it's just mama bear and her cubs, but in this case we might have our own little pack of bears. This is really escalating quickly. <laughs> and we're gonna let them just say that they would like to have more uh, little creatures to play with. So they ended up with a litter of their own. All right, so we have Snowball. We have Too Spooky. I kind of wish that all of Too Spooky's babies would be named after memes now, but they're going to be named after you guys. So let's go ahead and pull up the first. All right, Snowball, I'm thinking fluffy. Let's go big fluff. 
<gasps> what? Okay. Already out of the blue, we actually ended up with a unexpected genetic mix. We ended up with a all black baby. Okay, that's not what I thought we'd get. It's gonna be very exciting to see how fluffy these little itty bitty pups end up being too. And welcome to Solus. Solus, welcome. You are going to be a playful, aggressive, vocal mix of your husky father and your polar bear mother. And Solus, I love reading what you guys leave in the comments as suggestions for future mixes, by the way. I actually have a piece of paper right next to me to write down all of the ones that really jump out at me. I think that mixing prehistoric animals like saber teeth, or saber tooth, I should say, but what would be the plural of saber tooth? I guess saber tooth tigers. Hmm. I'm really coming up with a lot of questions today. Don't mind me, friends. Would be really fun. So if you guys have some prehistoric mixes, let me know about those too. So good idea, Solus. All right, let's pull up the next member of the family. Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? A little polar bear or a puppy? It's a puppy who looks more or less just like dad, but I think we're gonna end up inheriting mom's muzzle and snout. And this is actually going to be Blaze. Blaze, welcome, welcome. I do think that doing the Husky and Snow Leopard mix would be really fun, by the way, Blaze. That's on my list of things to try out now that we have seen how cool the Snow Leopard is. And Blaze, you are a bit of a troublemaker who is stubborn and hairy. So I think you're gonna be a handful altogether, but I also think you're gonna be an adorable, super fluffy handful. All right, let's pull up your next sibling. And I shall pull up the... Woo! Welcome, welcome. Almost there and... Puppy! Okay, not the puppy I expected us to get, but the puppy that we got nonetheless. Welcome to Six Ann. Hmm. I'm gonna go with Six Ann, like Six Ann in The Sims to pronounce your name that way. Six Ann, I think you're gonna actually mess with the bends, unfortunately. You two are a troublemaker and something about you just makes me think that you're gonna be trying to always get into those bins in town where there might be delicious little snacks put to the side. And Six Ann, I think mixing a deer and a fox would also be really cool. And you guys, if I'm reading out some mixes that you're like, Siri, we have to do that. We have to try it out. Then just leave comments letting me know. There's literally hundreds and hundreds of different mixes we could do. And having you guys pick the ones that make you the most excited really helps out. So six and deer and a fox, definitely on my list. Imagine if we end up with foxes that have antlers. That would be amazing. All right, this little one born, ready to go. Not quite yet, not quite yet, and another adorable little one who's going to be named Walter. And I love how Walter also says, my name is Walter, but I'm a girl. So I shall I shall fix this in, like properly. Also, thank you very much for saying that our channel is an inspiration to you. It's largely in part of how you guys are so awesome and come up with so many curious combinations. I never will run out of energy to do these because it's all based around curiosity. And having curiosity as your motivation is a powerful way to shape your whole life. I promise you guys. I absolutely love my life I live now because anytime I wonder about like how boring things like traditional metrics of success, I realize it's just more fun to live by your curiosity than anything else. So thank you very much for saying that we're so inspirational, Walter. I really appreciate that. And by the way, you are going to be a vocal couch potato who is independent. Very cute. Also, I love that you have two colored oh, No, you don't have two colored eyes. I thought you did for a second. That's actually your sibling, Sixan. I love, I love this puppy look. Oh my gosh, having the Huskies have puppies has been so rewarding because cute almost every time. Oh, and Celicia! Celicia, thank you so much! You enjoy the stories we tell about the animals. That means a lot to me. I think it's important because it gives each one of them their own unique Celicia, Celicia there we go. It gives each one of, or Celia, Ces Cecily? Cecilia, oh, there we go. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> it gives each one of the animals a very unique story to why they exist, which I think is pretty fun. And Celia, let's see, Celia, Cecilia, oh, what a pretty name. 
you are going to be a loyal couch potato who is very smart. So I think you've got a lot. Look at that proper little posture. I think you ended up with a lot of the husky in you. And so far, we're not ending up with a single one who looks like a polar bear cub. But this is going to be pretty fun. All right, let's see. And then we are going to have... Ashley! <gasps> Ashley! Look at the different husky coloration you ended up with with the red. Oh, I love that. Ashley, welcome to the family. Look at those bright, bright blue eyes. Wow. All right, we're going to go ahead and have you. You can't give fur, even though you're quite amazing. You're actually going to be aggressive and ready to defend your territory. And you are also a jumpy, adventurous little puppy cub. Oh, I can't wait to see how big you're going to be. I love the red color on the huskies as well. It's one of my favorites. And by the way, Ashley, I think that having a moose and a griffin end up having some babies would be really cool. So I will add that to my list right now. Moose and griffin. That sounds somewhat terrifying. I would not want to run into that in the wild. All right, you guys, now that we have a bunch of playful, troublemaking, very loyal, somewhat aggressive little puppies running about, it is now time for Too Spooky and Snowball to go ahead and watch as their children grow and hopefully become excellent friends to be able to play with. Solus, you're up first. <laughs> Solus, look at that face. Okay, I am not disappointed by the level of fluff on this. Also, look at that muzzle. I didn't expect that. You almost kind of look a bit fox-like. All right, all right. I like the fact that we have the little nub tail too. That's adorable. Solus. Wow. I would almost think that you were like part fox from the way that you look. Okay, this is fun. All right, Solus. And then we have Blaze. Blaze, you look very much like your husky father, but will that stay true? <laughs> oh! <laughs> That mix is actually really adorable. I think that they could go be troublemakers in town no problem and be able to get access to plenty of food. I mean, come on. Would any of you refuse Blaze if he was like walking up to you and clearly begging for a treat? I don't think I have it in me. I just don't. And he also has a little nub tail probably inherited from mom. All right, Sixan, how about you, my dear? <gasps> Fluffy! Sixan, you took on more of your mother's polar bear traits for sure, but instead of having that luxurious white fur, which I think there's something really, really unique about why polar bears have white fur. I think it has something to do with like the hair follicles being hollow or something. I need your guys' help on that. We are pixel biologists. We investigate the mysteries of biology that make our world such an amazing place. So why do polar bears have white fur again? I know there's something really special about it and I think it has something to do with hollow hair follicles but I can't remember but six Anne, you didn't end up with white fur like your mother you ended up with this lovely gray fur you might look a little bit more like a bear trying to get into the bins in town so that might cause you a bit of trouble but I'm sure that your siblings will share I mean just look at blaze's face people are going to be giving him enough treats that there'll be plenty to go around and then little Walter what is it gonna be husky or bear <laughs> Husky! Oh, but look at his face! Look at his concerned eyebrows! Oh, bless his heart, he looks so much like my Great Dane Oliver that we used to have. He was one of our rescue Great Danes, and he absolutely constantly looked permanently concerned. His eyebrows were just like two notches higher than most Great Danes, and so he, of course, could beg for all the treats he wanted. And many of you probably know this by now, but Oliver's favorite treat was bananas. You could open a banana anywhere in the house, could be in the basement, could be on the second story. That dog would find you and beg for the banana. That's who you remind me of, Walter. That's absolutely glorious. I love it. All right, and then we've got Cecilia. Cecilia. You are adorable. You have very much the same energy as Blaze, where I think you're gonna be able to beg for treats just fine, and you could probably slip into a sled dog team, no problem. Can you imagine if you had a sled dog who had the power of a bear? I think you're gonna win. You would just hands down win every race. So I think that you are the secret winner, Cecilia, and you are going to be helping somebody win many sled dog awards. And speaking of sled dogs and unexpected colorations, finally, oh no, Ashley, I forgot to give you your name here. I'm sorry, Ashley. I got so excited. A moose and a griffin just got me like very excited to try out. But Ashley, let's go ahead and grow you up, my dear. 
<gasps> and you didn't disappoint. Look at this. This glorious creation. This is probably my favorite out of the results that you can get when you mix a polar bear whose icy adventures are reflected in these stunning blue eyes and a husky whose genetic variation and perhaps, uh, well, I guess I was going to say loyalty, but we've got a little more aggression here. Don't want to mess with you, Ashley. Uh, but whose beautiful husky traits do shine, at least in the coloration and a bit in the muzzle too. All right, guys, this was a fun mix. I like this. I like this very much. And I would love to know more mixes we might possibly do with polar bears or just any of the animals. So keep those comments coming so that you guys could call Solus, you little face. So that you guys could come and possibly be one of our random genetics experiments. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, stay curious. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.